Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. It's Game Grumps. Hello, welcome. Hey, you. Th hey, you there. Oh, yeah. There's a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry, I don't know. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry, you stupid cock? I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? Uh, he was proven innocent. Um, right, and you were... Gumshoe. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> hey, Dick, get over here. <laughs> Coming! <laughs> hey, oh, <laughs> that's what he said. Yes, sir. Yeah. Be, be right there. I thought you were making a joke. No. But then the game was making a joke. Gosh dang it. Him. You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Woof! Me, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. I'll talk to this fuck. How about Miss Faye? Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Yes. Turns out she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> now, News to you, I'm sure. <laughs> now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks, homie. Was instantaneous. Uh. Uh, was instantaneous. Uh, uh. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Well, why do you say that? The city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. <gasps> Not Edgeworth! He's beautiful! <laughs> He's an edgelord! <laughs> I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. I'll tell you what it means. <laughs> Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, uh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Well, he's not. Oh, shit. He's a frog boy. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. Ribbit, ribbit. So Edgeworth is, one, is on this one. He hasn't <laughs> lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Oh, shit. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. All right, bye. <laughs> muck, muck. What do you muck, think of this? Muck, muck. Muck, muck. <laughs> there was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's a handwriting or not. Well, she did die instantly, so there's no proof that Mia wrote it. That's a good point. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? Yeah, I have that. Do you think you could give it back? No, it's cute! <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. The cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Uh, you, you try to confuse me with sexiness. <laughs> Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. <laughs> oh. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems you didn't notice the recorded conversation. Seems you didn't notice the recorded conversation! <laughs> Shit, did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I'm going to explode from the inside out. I cut myself shaving this morning and I am embarrassed. <laughs> so I placed a Capri Sun straw into the back of my head. <laughs> 
It's causing me to inflate and deflate at an alarming rate as the ceiling fan blows air into the Capri Sun straw and through my body. Anywho, I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness, the witness with your loyalty ways, pal. Um, it's called collecting evidence. Uh, come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Oh yeah. She was dumb and forgettable. Good lawyering. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Sorry about this. <laughs> I was just saying that that gave me pause for a second because first I thought it, it it was the same name as the April from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's not. That was April O'Neil. Yeah. And then I thought April May. Huh? They're both months. And then I thought, oh, I'm doing a show and I haven't said anything for a while. <laughs> 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 that, that just walking you through my process. Yeah, but I can't tell you anything about it Well, you just told me your name miss may huh? So you've sent her home already then Aha, uh -huh. you're trying your loyalty tricks on me now. She's not she's not to go outside her room until the trial So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information you got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. <laughs> uh, alright, well. Let's go to Miss May. The Gatewater Hotel. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Is she a cat? Yeah. Wait. Oh, so she didn't see you in the room. When she, when she freaked out and called the police. What? Well, remember when she's like, oh my god, police, and she's on the phone screaming? Yeah. I thought she had looked in and saw you hovering over the body. Which would mean she thought, like, you were the murderer and freaking out. But clearly, she's either cool with murderers, as long as they're handsome, or she did not see you. I guess we'll find out. Alright. That's you, homie. Uh, oh, no, no, I'll do it, because yeah. you're, you're, you're Penix. <laughs> well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee -hee. Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. I'm so glad I saw that dead body. It's <laughs> also exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. <laughs> Probably me! <laughs> the murder weapon! <laughs> There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. <gasps> For murdering! I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, hey! What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy! Yikes. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Um, sure? Upset. I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Oh, a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you witnessed. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you deserved at the- observed. <laughs> Sorry, Freudian slip. Whoops. At the time of the incident. Ooh, observe, incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. And <laughs> someone's dead. I like a man with a big... Vocabulary. <laughs> I like a man with a big penis. Sorry, I've zoned out. I was like, don't say penis, don't say penis. <laughs> <laughs> um, gulp, better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occur uh, mm, happened the other day, the bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please? I mean, you definitely didn't see me hovering around the body, <laughs> right? Okay. Ooh. Um, let me see, um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Why are her hands like that? Because she's a fucking weirdo. Oh, okay. Is she, like, gonna clean herself like a cat? Yeah. <laughs> hand over the head, hand over the face. That's how she keeps her hair so, like, curled at the end. Yeah. <laughs> cat um, could you just, uh... Just who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? Yes! I mean, no, hey, I'm just doing my job here. See, you know you're cute when you blush. 
Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, I sit at my window with my boobs out and I freak out when I see someone die. <laughs> No, T, and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you, or...? Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. Nope, I'm just a lush. <laughs> yeah. You must be one of those famous detectives like on television. I like to double fist when I'm home alone. <laughs> <laughs> I drink them both at the same time. I'm like, yes. Hey, I'm just... Oh, I'm just a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh, boy. This is exciting. Yeah, she's a, she's a wacky one. Time of death. Do, 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 do. Death was instantaneous. Excuse me, but I'm a witness, police witness, you understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience? Hmm? Me, the witness. It's just like in the movies. <laughs> Excuse oh, me. Boy. Oh, all right. All right, I guess I'm done here. All right. Hang out with my friend Maya. She's a criminal. Hey, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't <laughs> seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Uh, cool. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I should probably listen to that. Chick. Oh. Uh, okay. So, oh, okay, I've already heard this. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Fucking great. So. Okay. Do you want to present her with the cell phone? I mean, oh, I guess that's... She'll be like, oh, cool. <laughs> Hope that helps. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Oh, it's sad. Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. I couldn't understand why. <laughs> like, yeah. seriously, what's her problem? Thank you! It's just a fucking phone. Well, that's it. Okay. Let's move to the lawyer's office. He might be there. Oh. <laughs> He's not there. Oh, cool. If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard... Aha, uh -huh, so you're the one they say that has been looking for me! Uh, yes, that's me! Did you know that Laszlo is playing Splatoon 2? <laughs> he looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, that badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. Yes. And what do you want? Yes. I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you, you fucking clo- Mmm, <laughs> sorry, something the matter? Is the oils from my painting stuffing up your nose? <laughs> Are you will do you wanna sneeze? <laughs> you came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, uh, sir, actually it's about Maya, Maya Fay. Oh, mm hmm Ah, uh, yes, Maya Fay, looking over my glasses at you, am I now? <laughs> Go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? Ha-cha-cha. -cha. <laughs> I'm really quite busy here, son. I don't know why I said that out loud. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. You just said you're not busy. <laughs> Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, 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 hey, uh, anyway, it's time, uh, for next time on Game Grumps. Oh, shit! Yeah, we'll continue this later. Yes. Have a good day, everybody. Go, then. go, go, go. My glasses need to be farther apart from my nose. I told them I was like, they're too close to my nose. And he said, no, I've been in the bifocals business since the 1930s, like my grandfather and my grandfather's grandfather.